is going to be our homeschool curriculum choices for our ninth grader for the 2018-2019 school year. I've also be, I will also be homeschooling a second grader and a seventh grader, so if you're interested in seeing the choices we chose for them, my channel will have videos on both of those also. My ninth grader is going to be a little different this year because all he's going to be doing at home is his language arts and English and math. He's going to be going to a homeschool high school co-op where he'll go once a week. They'll do their labs and their group work and discussion and then he'll do the reading at home throughout the week for the next week. So he's going to be taking four classes there. Two, I noticed in my video I, I included the curriculum that he'll be doing at co-op but I did forget about two and one is his speech. He'll be doing speech through I believe it's an IEW curriculum, but because we don't have a book, I forgot to film that when I filmed the curriculum. So he'll be doing IEW speech, and then they're going to be doing a yearbook class, which I think will be a lot of fun because they'll do a homeschool yearbook. So if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe and hit the bell, comment and let me know if there's any other homeschool videos you'd be interested in seeing, or if you have any questions about any of the curriculum we're using, comment down below. Thanks for watching. So this is going to be the curriculum for my ninth grader. For math, he's been doing teaching textbooks. He did Rod and Staff for second and third grade. And then starting in fourth grade, he started teaching textbooks. And he's been doing it ever since. So this year he'll be doing Algebra 1. And these are the discs. There is a lot for Algebra. So it comes with all of these discs. And he really only uses the discs. So every day, you'll start your lesson. It'll have an explanation and someone teaching on what they're learning about for the day. Then it'll have five practice questions. And then we'll have 20 actual questions. They get two chances to see if they get it right. If they get it wrong both times, then there's an option where they can choose to have the computer show them how to do it correctly. This is the answer key, same thing. You would only really need this if you were going to be away from your computer or didn't have access to your computer and disks. And this would tell you the answer so you could check your work. And then here's the workbook. Like I said, he also doesn't use this. I always get them though, just because I don't know if um, one of my future kids that's gonna use this might decide that they prefer doing it this way. But this is just every lesson that you would get online on your disk but in worksheet format. So for lesson 52, which is distributing in reverse, it's explaining to what you're learning for that day. More explaining. Then you're gonna have your five practice problems, which in the grading does not count. Then you're gonna have your 20 actual problems. And that's it. And then at the end of every chapter, there's a 20 question quiz. So if you wanted to and you wanted your student wanted to do it in the workbook, they could and then they could take it to the computer and just plug in the answers. He prefers to just take a scratch book paper to the computer and do it all from the computer. One reason I like having this though is if because he is really good at math and he tends to get ahead and work through it on his own pace, if he gets stuck on something and needs help, I can use this to go back and look at some of the how they taught him to do it so that I can help him without having to do that from his disc. So this is definitely an optional part, but um, I like just having it. I never know, too, if one of my other boys, as they come upon the curriculum, because it is so reusable, if they might need that format, because every learning style is different. So this is a workbook that we ordered for him last year, and he still has more to do in it. It's just a Spectrum workbook. You can get them off. Amazon they're pretty cheap and the reason we bought this one for him is he did not enjoy word problems so over the summer we bought him this to work on just word problems just for some extra practice on those we, we bought him a grade behind like I said just to give him some extra problems he's not bad at word problems he just doesn't enjoy them so that's why we bought this but they have spectrum um, so just in math they have all of these and they have writing and spelling and every grade level. And this one says $9.99. I don't even think on Amazon that I paid that much. But they have, they have, this is just word problems, but they'll have just 
arts, math, based on grade level. What did I say? They have spelling, language arts. They have everything. So these are good, and actually, I think they could almost be a full curriculum. Obviously, not the word problem ones, but some of the other ones. So for English, he's going to do aces, paces this year. We have never tried this. I'm excited. And basically, it came with 12, pa they call them pace workbooks. And that will include his English language arts curriculum for the whole of ninth grade. So these are the ninth grade level. And this is just workbook one. I don't have the other ones because they're stored away. I'm only pulling them out one at a time for what he needs. But it came with 12 of these. This is number one. And when you open it, they are they're pretty colorful in their worksheets. Um, let's skip ahead a little. And this is supposed to be, like I said, I can do another one of these and review it once we actually get into the school year and see how we like it. But it's supposed to include spelling, grammar, writing, and even some reading. There's a book, I have to look now, I wish I would have remembered it, that I had needed to buy with this and I haven't done it yet, that they will be working on also this year. So it even does have some literature. I believe that there might be two books. So that's what he will be doing for English. So at home, all he is doing this year is going to be English and math. This is the aces paces. He is going to be going to a homeschool co-op where he will go once a week all day and he's going to be taking science, psychology, United States history, and speech. So he'll go there once a week and then they, they'll do a lot of the book work and reading from home. So he will be doing those subjects from home also, but then at the co-op he'll be taught by a teacher with other high schoolers and we're really excited this is our first year doing an actual co-op we've done some science only co-ops but this one is the closest he'll have to like going to a school day but it'll only go once a week and they'll give them obviously a lot of reading and stuff at home but they'll do their especially for like science and labs and discussions and group work in class so and it's actually our this homeschool co-op for us is just run by a group of parents so that he's taking psychology, and this is the book they had us order. Most of these classes that he'll be taking through the co-op are college level. Um, and some of them he'll be able to take the CLEP, which is the college level examination program. And it will show that he won't need to take that class, say, in um, college. So... This is his psychology book, and like I said, it is just called Psychology 10th Edition by David G. Myers. I'm excited for him to do psychology. That was always one of my favorite classes. For U.S. history, the only books they wanted us to get was this CLEP guide, which is the history of the United States, 1865 to present. And you'll see it has questions in it, so he'll write in it. Actually, it looks like it is a lot of just questions. And then they wanted him to get this. It's like a pamphlet. They call It was called a pamphlet when I ordered it. I believe I got this from Amazon. So it's called The American History 2. U.S. Development into and through the 20th and 21st centuries. So this is basically a timeline, which I'm assuming they'll use in class. I really like um, it's covered in the shiny so it won't get bent. And I'm assuming, I'm not exactly sure how his U.S. History class will work, but these are the only two books they required for that. Now his science books, he's going to be taking what they call conceptual... Oh, I'm going to have to look because I don't remember. Conceptual Integrated Science? Yes, Integrated Science. And we bought that book for him on, on, on an e-format. And so it's on his tablet. So I don't have that. But it's a pretty intense science program that includes a lot of different kinds of science in it for the year. So this is just the notebook he had. And he's already had his first days until tomorrow, but they already had to read through chapter one and do their assignment. With this pro this science program, I wish I had the book to show you, but 
it was much cheaper because it is college level. It was much cheaper to buy the book e-format. I think I paid $20 and for the actual book to buy hardback was $170. So also with this program, it came with a website that they go to. So his teacher every week will be able to post what his homework is, what he's supposed to be reading. There's a lot of videos and quizzes. And then his labs will be done in class with the other students. So this is the curriculum for our ninth grader this year. Like I said, I can't really tell you um, how much it'll be. It would be kind of hard to do a review on the co-op ones because I didn't pick it. You know, it's based on them. I could sort of do it. But I could do a review because this is our first year on ACES PACES. And I could also do a more in-depth view on teaching textbooks because that's one we've been using for a long time. We've tried a lot of different curriculums, but the two that always stick and that we've done the longest is teaching textbooks. And then it was Rod and Staff for the early grades, but this will be my first year trying the Horizons for my second grader, so we will see. So please like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and let me know if there's any other homeschool videos you would like to see, if you have any questions on the ones that um, he's doing now, or just for future videos, comment, and thank you for watching.